guys, it's copy time. Are you all ready for my mounting story? If you follow me on Twitter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The rest of you are like, um, purposefully leading you astray, like we do on this show. Okay, so when I say my mounting story, I don't mean like mounting a wild bear. I mean mounting upon the wall. I was very excited because a few coffee times back, we were doing some Googling with Dodger, right? And I was looking up how much it is for the mounting equipment that you need in order to put a TV on the wall. So I looked that up and it was like 20 something dollars, which is not that bad. It's not like a ton of money. It was just, uh, I mean, I don't need it. I don't need the TV on the wall, so it's fine. But I wound up going back and buying it because when I go into my room, I'm like, ah, I feel like if this was up on the wall, then, you know, this would be a little bit of almost like shelf space. Um, like we could do more with the room, I feel like. And it also just sounded like fun. I was like, oh, I've never done anything like that before. I've mounted shelves, but I've never mounted a TV, you know? So all of that equipment came in the mail yesterday. And when I made my video and I was like, I'm going to do all this stuff, it wasn't really in my plan to try and mount that TV last night, but I got, I got a bug in the butt and I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go up there. I'm going to open up this box that looks really daunting, filled with weird stuff that all pieces together to somehow put a TV on the wall. And I'm just going to figure out how to do it. Now, this wound up being way more complicated than it needed to be because I have no idea where my stud finder is. La la la, it's right here. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Did you ever have friends who did that? Or were you ever the person who did that? Or when there was a stud finder, you'd like put it on your body and if it beeped, you'd be like, oh, I guess it's working. My old, my old boss Nathan used to do that <laughs> literally every time there was a stud finder around. Anyway, so I can't find my stud finder right now. So I thought, that's fine. I'll just do the super janky thing, right? Where you go up against the wall and you knock, and then you inch over and you knock, and you inch over and you knock. And really, you're just trying to hear for the opposite of a hollow sound. When you put your ear up against a wall and you knock, um, if there's no stud there, assuming it's like, uh, not sheetrock, that's not the word I'm looking for. Well, normal walls that aren't brick or concrete. When you knock, you'll normally hear like a hollow sound, like there's space in there, right? So I went along the wall knocking, <laughs> which was just tedious. I was just like, mm-hmm, all right, uh-huh, yep. So knocked all the way across the wall, um, put little marks in all of the places where I thought I could hear a stud. And then I had to take my drill with the smallest pilot hole drill bit I had and then along the baseboard, I would make a little, not like right up against the baseboard, because you never know, but like, like maybe that far up from the baseboard, I would make a tiny little hole and see if, see if it was a stud there. It was tedious. It took way longer than it needed to. That, that part literally took longer than it took to assemble the rest of the thing. <laughs> I'm using a cheetah. That's what the brand is called. And it's super, super easy to put together. The rest of the process was just like, oh, wall, you know, super simple. But finding the studs, I was like, especially with a TV, I have got to find the studs. Like, we're not doing this unless I know I'm drilling into something, you know? So it all worked out. The TV's up, which is fantastic. Um, I love it up there. And now, of course, immediately, like, random bric-a-brac is all over the top of my dresser, which is not what I wanted. I was like, ah, oh, the top of the dresser can have, like, the candles and stuff, right? Just, you know, it'll just look nice, because the TV would almost take the place of, of putting up, like, a print or a framed thing. Then, instead, there's a TV, and it's on the wall, and, like, it kind of elongates the room, and whatever, right? You get it. You get what I'm saying. So... It looks really, really nice. And I got all of the laundry done. So really, everything's coming up Millhouse. So I'm very proud of myself. Did a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, and then today I came home and did a little bit more. I've, I've been in the mode. I've been in that, that good, like, let's get stuff done mode, which I am really happy with. Um, 
but tomorrow I'm going to be on set all day until until the evening. In the evening I'll be able to work on stuff a bit more. But it's good. Both of the bathrooms are like all put together now, which is great. I've started putting up some of my other framed stuff. I put up my um my uh Ray picture, my Omocat Ray. It says I am me on it. Oh, I love that picture so much. It's in the hallway. So, yeah. I'm happy. I'm just getting getting stuff done. Getting stuff done and feeling happy and the only thing that I'm disappointed in myself with is I haven't been cooking. I haven't cooked in like over a week probably. I've been just getting sandwiches or you know ordering in which I don't want to be doing but it's been just like ah this is a really easy thing to do tonight we were going to like right after friend zone because we did friend zone today right after friend zone uh uh Jesse and TB and I were going to play gauntlet and record it but Jesse's computer is I guess like barfing like his computer is not happy with him at all so uh we decided to push that so that's gonna be happening a totally different day, but I want I want to get like a lot of stuff done before. Whoa, man! I am just like beating myself up. Here's one thing. No, wait. Let me finish my first thought. I want to get a lot of stuff done before Sunday, because I want to hang out with Aaron on Sunday. Aaron, happily, Aaron. That Aaron. <laughs> that's all. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. Now, next thing is that. I like busted my knuckle, but I also busted um, like right in here. Got a bunch of cuts, and I got like cuts all over my legs. The reason being, when you're small, <laughs> sometimes you try to lift things up. Not the TV. TV and I had no problems. I never hurt myself once while trying to do the TV and all that stuff. But like everything else that's in the house that I've been trying to move around, I have been banging my knees, banging my shins, cutting myself by accident all the time. I was like, dang. So, whoops. <laughs> but I got to talk to Sam today. That was nice. I hadn't talked to him since he left. Oh, the best part though is the reason that we originally got to talk to each other is because he texted me frantically this morning and was like, hey, can you do me a favor, please? And I was like, what kind of favor are we talking about? And he was like, can you log into my Destiny account and buy me an exotic? I'll tell you what to do. I was like, okay. So we like got in on a Skype call. It was literally like, okay, so I'm playing, right? Originally, I held the phone like this so he could see the screen. So originally, I held the phone like this, and then I was playing with this hand, but it was just so bad. Like, I couldn't aim at anything when I was walking around I would have to like do each toggle individually and it was just bad. So instead what wound up happening was I was holding it like this. This is how dedicated I am. This is what a good girlfriend I am. I held it like this and then played the game so that he could see the screen while I was playing it. He was like, are you okay? Is everything okay? I was like, yep, it's fine. Let's just find this dude. And then there were a couple of people who were in the game that showed us where to go, which was really sweet. Originally, Sam was like, why are all these people waving at you? I was like, I don't know. So I just kept, like, walking. But then Sam realized, he was like, oh my gosh, I think they they realize that you must be me. Like, that you're playing as me right now. And I was like, oh. He was like, maybe they're, maybe they're going to show you where to get this exotic. Because we were looking for, like, there's a specific NPC vendor that you have to find that sells the exotic that he needed. So... <laughs> So we had like a couple of people showing us where to go, which was so nice because for the longest time I was like, I don't know where we're going. And Sam would be like, turn left. Nope, never mind. Turn right. <laughs> you're just, nah. But so whoever you are, if you're watching right now and you helped us find the, the weird vendor guy, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it because that was going to be the worst. So... But yeah, after after we completed that, then we, we got to catch up and talk about everything, and and yeah, it sounds like he's having fun at Eurogamer, so he gets back, he gets back in another little over a week, so gives me gives me lots of time to try to try to do more stuff to the house. <laughs> but anywho, I'm gonna go. But I hope you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.